Hey, how's it going? It's Skyward Shield. Welcome to a update video, a tried and true update, as the last one I had was more so I just wanted to gush about Yakuza 0 and Kiwami for a bit. But, um, I've, ironically enough, I haven't touched those in... I haven't touched those since I beat the game last month. Or both of them, because I beat them both, like, one by one, because I was juggling between the two. Uh, I probably won't put a link to it, but yeah, just something to mention. That's what I've been planning. I want to talk about, it's two big parts to what we have to discuss, and not all of it is on YouTube. So of course, you know, COVID's a thing, I I just refuse to go back to college until I am, like, until everything's all done, or at least there's a cure, so, yeah. But yeah, I don't want to jeopardize my health, I just want to stay inside, <laughs> do what I've always been doing all summer, essentially, because, you know, go to work, maybe go to the grocery place, but, you know, stay home. And I recommend you guys still do the same. I know it sucks, but yeah, it's for the best. Don't be stupid. Be smart. But anyway, we're not here to talk about completely about COVID. The only thing I can say about it is that it's just made me want to do more work here. I don't know if you want to call that a positive, but you know, COVID's been anything but. But let's go talk about the big updates. First one, the first big part of the agenda, half of the agenda, is Twitch. I have six points all together, three for each of, of both Twitch and YouTube. And the first update I would like to bring on is something that you may already know about. My Pokemon catch em all challenge. Now I neglected it, but honestly this was a thing if I really uh, hunk, uh, bunker down and just focus on it day in and day out, I could catch them all within two months because this is two generations of games. We're not just doing red and blue, we're also doing gold, silver, and crystal. And this is just my perfect chance to actually play the games. I will say I'm only streaming up to a certain point because, um, and I'm not even uploading them all because you see, there's something I'm thinking about doing, and this does tie into YouTube. And what I'm contemplating doing is essentially bringing back my old playthrough, my dead playthrough of Crystal, because that was one of the games that was victimized by the fact that my old computer died and all the data with it went away. So. I'm just thinking I could try and use that as, an, as a way to finish another old playthrough that I did not finish. Like, as you know, I could not finish Thousand Year Door. I tried to resurrect it, but I was not comfortable with where we were. And now, obviously, you see what I'm doing. We're already past... We're, about to be, we're already past Chapter 5. At least for me, recording-wise, recording, recording -wise, I'm past Chapter 6. In fact, I kind of wanted to record today, but I just chose, now nah, let's stream again. Um, today on the video, on the day I'm recording this, um, the night, the 13th, Sunday, you know, the beginning of football. I took a day off because, it, one, it was the beginning of football and I wanted to enjoy that. But also just to give the channel a day off, which might be a bad idea because this was on a Sunday in particular, which I usually upload, um, uh, Paper Mario videos. But yeah, uh, I'm thinking of bringing back Crystal. It's something I just gotta make sure and think about. I just don't know. Because if I do that, it just adds another wrench to the plan. Because as I'll get to YouTube, we have the schedule already. With my own self-made schedule in my mind. I have, you know, Paper Mario videos uploading on the weekends. You know, maybe like Thursday through Sunday. And the other three days are just uploading old stream clips of Yellow and sometimes Crystal. I might miss. I might have missed some of the videos already. They, they might have been deleted by Twitch. But, oh well, that's my own fault. Either way, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to sort of uh, document all the Pokemon I catch, although some of them I do get off screen. Like today I caught a Meowth off screen on blue because you can't get it in yellow. But, you know, that's just one example to mention. Uh, but um, anyway, the catch em all challenge is on track. I've already caught over 50, almost 60 in um, Gen 1 altogether. And I've already caught, oh, I want to say about 40 or 50. Nearly 50 with uh, Johto, although some of those are Gen 1 Pokemon, so that's a little, that number's a little, got a bit of an asterisk to it, so just keep that in mind, but, you know, we're just going to slowly start catching them all again and uh, over and over. Um, the thing is, so, it's actually a little harder for me to catch Pokemon in Gen 2, because I don't have anything with a single status inflicting move. No Sleep Powder, no para no a Thunder Wave, Hypnosis, none of that. <laughs> we don't have any of those. I may actually, when I'm done with the game, like, basically try and maybe consider making a Parasect with Spore and like something like some weak move. I don't know if uh, False Swipes in this game. I hope it is. If it is. I don't think it was introduced till Gen 3. I'm not sure. But either way, just, you know, get something or just import like a Pikachu from Pokemon Blue 
and just teach the Thunder Wave or you give it Thunder Wave and have it catch other Pokemon. Maybe bring a Grass type too that can help with that. You get the idea. But anyway, we're moving on to uh, something else. So the Catch Em All pro Challenge, we're on the way. We should be done. We're already in the midway point of September. We've got October, November, and December. I think we'll be done with at least the main games. I don't know if we'll do Stadium on time, but we'll see. Stadium can just be something on the side. Um, anyway, as for the other thing, the football podcast, the Big Six, the Pick Six podcast, I don't think it's coming back the way it is. If it does, it's not going to be a consistent thing. You see, uh, Mr. Chicken and Mr. Bill's schedule and I all have conflicting times. Chicken, as a nurse, and especially dealing with COVID and trying not to burn from the fires in California, he does never. He does not get a consistent schedule. I mean, he streams only when he gets a chance to. Essentially, um, it's based on what the what his bosses give him. Uh, Bill has been going through some stuff personally, which I won't go into details because I don't know if he's comfortable with talking about that. But even if those weren't the case, he has his own set schedule of streaming: Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on a Saturday, depending on if he feels like. And the thing is, my schedule is currently working three days. Um, because I, I lost all my a lot of time. My hours have been getting cut. And yeah, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I'm actually going to try and get some like every other Wednesday. So it's a bit of a compromise to sometimes get more of my hours back. And, you know, make more money to pay everything. And, you know, do more things that I want. Um, but this is something we're thinking of doing. If we want to bring it back, it's going to be more so whenever we feel like it. If we feel like saying, "Hey, we're all free. Let's do a podcast." Sure, we may only get we might only get one done a month, or maybe one for the whole the whole first half of the season. <laughs> Who knows? <clears throat> I can't I can't be certain, but yeah, just something to keep in mind with that. It's more it's going to be a situation where it's only when we feel like it or not able to. A anyway, the last thing about Twitch is the affiliate goal progress. Now, I've started to actually keep track of it. And as of the last stream I had on Friday, um, I have to check my stream summary for today, but I'm pretty sure the numbers went down. Um, let me, I'm going to open up my email, but basically my last one that I did for um, my last tw uh, stream I did with Chicken and, um, the, and Derek on Friday, we hit a average of, um, I went up to from like seven unique viewers to uh, 16 although today I dropped to 13 which is still that's still bad but yeah I did not gain any new followers the average viewer rate dropped from we were averaging six viewers on Friday it was a great day um, but now we're back to down to 3.3 but the path to affiliate goal the main thing to focus on for the like overall which is this is this shit is done over the span of 30 days we I'm good on everything except for reaching 50 followers. I have I am at 39. I gained two followers actually on Friday. So we are 11 away before I get that special email that says, "Hey, you're worthy of getting Twitch affiliate. Go ahead and apply." And that's hope. That's what I want to do. As well, I will not have a Patreon anytime soon. I almost contemplated doing it, but the thing is, as I look at the viewer rate, it's starting to come back slowly. I'm starting to get like an like an actual consistency because I'm uploading daily, but I think that's not like that doesn't me justify me opening a Patreon, a Patreon anytime soon. I feel like I want to at least get some big project out and see if people are into it and they want more, which that's gonna come into play with part two of this update. But yeah, all you need to know, I'm almost there. We're a fifth of the way uh, away from getting to. Twitch affiliate, and when that happens, I can start having subscribers and receiving bits and even donations, maybe. But again, that's only if you can. I'm not going to force people to do that. I'm not going to be like that that girl who's supposed to be into politics and is like, I I streamed for five hours and I didn't get a single sub, something like that. Yeah, you might know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to give any names, even if I knew her, because yeah, she don't deserve attention. People like that are horrible. <laughs> But yeah, only donate if you are willing to. I'm not going to drain you of all you got because that's fucked up and you might need that money more than me. Anyway, that's enough about Twitch. You've got the gist of it. Catch em all challenge, well on track, football podcast whenever we feel like it. And Twitch affiliate, almost there. Uh, push from you guys. If you have Twitch accounts, go ahead and follow me. 
the, that might help get me there too. And anyway, I will say I do stream every Fridays. I can guarantee that's the one day, and then the second day is either Saturday or Sunday. But the time frame is like I can guarantee you a time after I'm gonna stream. Like any time after five o'clock, I'm definitely gonna stream. Although as the days get uh, uh, shorter, that time frame may bump up, especially when the days start to cool down a little bit. But yeah. Anyway, YouTube. 10, 10 minutes, 30 seconds in. We're talking YouTube now, finally. We made it through the big first, the first big bump. Now here's the second one. So, YouTube progress. I have already mentioned I might bring Crystal back. And the thing is, that might make things complicated for what I already want to do. But I don't know. Because, you see, I still need to beat Crystal <laughs> to catch them all. So, I have to essentially force myself to upload things. And maybe I might have to do double uploads where both a stream highlight or a stream video and a um, and a Pokemon Crystal video or a Thousand Year Door video go up at the same time. I don't know. I have to really think about that on my own. We'll see. But yeah. Um, as for the progress of Thousand Year Door, like I said, I'm already past Chapter Six. If anything, if I devote the rest of the month, we like let's say like I record on Wednesday and record on Saturday, I might be done with Chapter Seven, and we might be done recording s main story stuff by the end of October. But once the main story's done, I will start to trickle in Persona 5 videos. Basically, I'm slowly going to open the floodgate a bit, let the stream begin. Because I have so... If you thought I had a lot of Paper Mario videos on the backlog... Because remember, when I was uploading Chapter 3, I had already recorded up to Chapter 5. And when I got to Chapter... I was basically two chapters ahead. Here, I mean, we were in the middle of Namatame's... Or not Namatame... I was saying Namatame, Madarame's palace, and I was already done with um, with uh, Kaneshiro's palace. You know, we already got Makoto, so if I'm barely I barely got Yusuke in uploading wise, recording wise. We already got Makoto, so yeah, very crazy. So you think? And remember, Persona 5's videos are there's a lot more to go through than just that, than just like Paper Mario. Anyway. Factor in the fact that I'm cutting more content, you know, cutting through more stuff like unnecessary fights that you need, you don't need to see. Yeah, I think you get the point. Either way, once that's done, we're going to go... I've already mentioned this in my first, my last update with Yakuza. Once I'm done with Paper Mario, we're going to go to Persona 5. And then when we're done with Persona 5, we're going into Yakuza 0, which, again, this is definitely not happening by the end of the year. We might be into November by the time I can start uploading um, Persona 5 videos. So like once we're done with the main story of Paper Mario, then you'll start seeing Persona videos. So we might get to Persona content by Thanksgiving? It's a guess. It's just a wild guess. I'm not certain. And that's still not counting extra things. That's why I'm not even sure if I want to bring back Crystal. And if I do, I may have to just save it as a bunch of backlogged videos and then just, you know, upload that later. We'll see. I, I can't be certain. It's just something I have to think about. Anyway, now then, this is what's going to take up some time. So, as I mentioned, I want to do bigger projects for the channel. Just playthroughs alone aren't going to really keep this channel up. I know this. My chance for that blew years ago. I learned, I have, it took me this long, but I finally realized that I had an opportunity to be at least somewhat of a decently successful Let's Player back in the day, back in my high school days, because those were days like when I made Persona 5 or Persona 4 videos, I was averaging like 40 to 50 views. Those were like the, those were the good days actually. <laughs> uh, but um, that time... After I went to Disney World and after I graduated, those were the two big times. No, okay, let's try that again. After I went to Disney World, I started slacking, but it wasn't until I went to PAX East and finished Persona 4 that I really, st that I really dropped the ball and I just became so lazy with uploading it. And there's nobody's fault but my own. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, thankfully with YouTube's new studio thing, it's easier to find other videos. But yeah, um, yikes. It's just, I'm just going to take a look for a second. I want to see what was I getting 
like by the end of my playthrough. Let's see. Holy shit, we had some videos that reached like 102. I mean, when I got to the ease of n to the to the big reveal, I got 373 views. My ending reached 227 views. And of course, some other ones along the way were like, you know, 50, 43, but these were like dungeon stuff. But when I was doing like major cutscenes, it would jump up like when I fought some boss, big bosses we got 117 116 840 wait what would you mean the big with the big bad got me more views to reveal the big bad and his uh, evil nature got more views than the fucking ending holy shit that's crazy you see I am floored by what I used to make mind you not all these views came within that year there have been some every once in a while I might get a, a comment on a persona video like part when I go get Yuhiko when I beat Yuhiko's shadow I might get a comment I remember a few months back I got one uh, particularly on that video that's why I can cite that example but you can see what I mean of stuff like that you, you see what I'm talking about when I'm saying that and I still didn't I never did the uh, the bonus Margaret fight like I promised uh, <laughs> it's so horrible <laughs> even there I still failed the, the commitment you see how bad it is it's so horrible but yeah you get the idea um, but anyway I wanted to show off I'm gonna do something different from what I've always done playthroughs the point is I have two big projects I'm doing, one of which I did, but then I shelved because I just wasn't comfortable with it, or I didn't know if it could work. However, times have changed, and it's going to have to get some edits. I'm going to reread everything and then just change it to fit the current time, but let me show you a project, or let me just point to you the game of the project I'm going to do a review of. I know I said Yakuza, but I think maybe it'd be better if I do this because it is a little bit easier to get started with because I already started on it. Anyway, here it is. It's, yeah, it's Zelda. It's everyone's favorite Zelda right now, which I'm not mad about too much because it's better people talking about this for nonstop that goddamn Ocarina of Time. But if you know me, you know I don't, I'm not a, the biggest fan of OOT. So yeah, Breath of the Wild is going to be my review. I was nearly done with this thing. I, I even got the score set up. I did everything. I explained how my review system was going to work. But I think before I do the bigger project, which I'm going to show in a minute, I figure this is something I need to get out there. But yeah, holy shit, I'm still reeling for the, the views I used to make with Persona 4. That was like, that could technically be called my magnum opus playthrough, and it's still cringe as hell. I don't even want to look back at it. And I actually, funny thing is, I fucked up on editing. I only realized it a couple years back, like after I was done. But I missed an entire arc. I don't know what happened. I forgot to. I guess I when I edited, I forgot part of the um, arc or like the free time leading into the to the culture festival. And there were some rank ups with Naoto that I missed. <laughs> That's so dumb. I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, I really want to do a Persona 4 Golden playthrough so I could just basically turn that into the ultimate remedy and not fuck up everything. But yeah, anyway, the other, the last big project, because I know I'm holding off people for a lot of their time, it's something you already are familiar with, with what I'm doing. In fact, you're kind of, you've kind of been seeing it for the past month. This was a situation I thought about a month ago, and I've been working hard on it ever since. I still, and the best part is, or the worst part I would argue really, is that I have barely gotten started on it. The, now I am going to do, but this won't be for a while, this is just an early, early announcement. The Breath of the Wild review, if I really try on that, I could get that out by the end of the year. That could be my holiday special, but do not expect this one to come out until 2021, which 
I think at this point we all can't wait for that shit to come out already because 2020 is anything but fun. Anyway, this is what I have in store. Yeah, you've been seeing it already, guys. You've been seeing me work on my retrospective of Pokemon Red and Blue. Well, the first generation in general. This includes Yellow, but yeah. You've been seeing me go through Gen 1, not just for the sake of catching them all. This is almost a two birds, one stone thing. I catch them all, but I also get to talk about the games as a whole, and that experience of catching them all could actually benefit into the retrospective. I don't know if, if I want to intend to keep this going with Gen 3 and Gen 4, because I'm not doing this for all the games. I'm only doing it up to Gen 4. I don't think I want to do it for Gen 5, and Gen 6 especially. And I'm not even interested in Gen 7 and 8, but yeah. That's just something I want to mention. This one won't happen for a long time, so I don't, nobody's going to be like, hey Josh, where's the retrospective on red and blue? I don't know. I'm still working on it. I mean, I actually made progress today. I just wrote 800 more like words to this whole goddamn first draft. And you want to know how much that's all together? We're at only 1,876. I'm only done with the f intro, with my intro paragraph sequence and my part one sequence. I and that's out of I'm not done with part two I am I think I am about 70% done with everything I want to write into the part two which is the beginning of the journey but then I still got part three part four and then part five which I think is the intro is like yellow and its quality of life updates as well as another thing but again I don't want to spoil everything I feel like just me telling you what part two is about is still kind of a not a dead giveaway but you know I'm, I'm ruining the surprise but yeah there's uh, and of course the you know the ending pair so that's like seven things you got to talk about more or less we'll see i mean and i still might change what i want to write about in the middle of it all so just yeah you see how stressful this might be anyway <laughs> i almost want to scrap this my reaction to the views is almost too good to not get take out I never knew how much views I got. Now I hate myself. I fucking hate myself for not for keeping up. I feel I'm mad at myself for slacking. God damn it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, that'll do it. I you get the idea. So you know, we already talked about the Twitch stuff, but you know, to sur summarize the YouTube stuff, my current playthrough order is going to be, um. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door still, and we're already more about halfway done with that one. Um, for Persona Five, continue that playthrough, and then so don't worry, that one's never dying. I intend to finish that because that is a promise. But then there's also, um, fucking uh, Yakuza Zero. But again, you're not gonna see some of those until after the end of the year, especially Yakuza Zero. I got my Breath of the Wild review. I'm going to have to work on it again. I'm going to take a look at it before I go to sleep, actually. Um, and then my Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow retrospective. So I hope you're all looking forward to those things. After I get those one of those, or at least both of those projects out, I'm and if they do well enough, I will consider putting up a Patreon. But yeah, um, just look forward to seeing stuff on Twitch. I will be, like I said, I'll be streaming every Friday after um, 6 or 7 p.m., 8 at the latest, sometimes 9 if I'm tired from work still, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess 8 should be the general latest. The latest I ever started streaming was 9 o'clock, but yeah. I'm going to try and keep that relative time frame from like 6 to 8. Again, keep track of the community tab. I mean, hit the bell for that stuff so you can keep in mind of when I do that. I've been told streaming on YouTube might be better, but because I'm already getting kind of close on Twitch, if I see no progress there, maybe I'll switch to YouTube. We'll see. But I'm just going to stick on Twitch because Twitch is a little more friendlier than YouTube is in terms of, you know, everything. Either way, 
thank you all for watching. Sorry for taking up all your time. Uh, let me know what you think about the projects and if uh, yeah, if you want to suggest something, go ahead. But I mean, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do for the future now. So, you know, I want to keep up with what I promised at the beginning of the year to deliver on some stuff. And well, it may not have been what I originally intended, but hey, that's just how life works sometimes. I mean, we never intended 2020 to end uh, or to go this far so like this and all that. So yeah, anyway, stay safe from everything. Uh, be smart and all that. Take care. I'll see you guys next time.